Tonight's game against the Miami Heat is the biggest game of the year. A lot of playoff implications for the Philadelphia 76ers and coming up on today's 76ers. Now, some injury updates going in to this massive tilt against Miami. First, if you want this squad to take down the Heat tonight, I want everybody watching right now to hit that thumbs up icon like the video. You want to go more so into that range? Type F Miami as well. And with that, let's talk some Sixers basketball right now. All right, let's do this thing. This is Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. No matter where you are or how you're tuned in, we appreciate you for making today's show a part of your day. As I mentioned off the rip, just a huge game for the Sixers squad tonight against the Miami Heat. A lot of playoff implications. And right now, Miami Heat not in the NBA play-in tournament. They are tied with the Indiana Pacers. And I know that Nick Nurse said, I don't think we're going to be able to catch Indiana they lost to the Brooklyn Nets. The Sixers picked up a massive win against the Oklahoma City Thunder. You beat the Miami Heat, things start to get pretty interesting during the stretch run here in the regular season. As for the Sixers injury report, Joel Embiid with the knee, questionable. Tyrese Maxey, hip, questionable. Tobias Harris, knee, questionable. If he doesn't play, that's fine with me. That sequence, by the way, at the end of the game against OKC, where he missed that pull-up Jimmy awfully, and then the three-pointer, he clanked that. A brutal sequence for Tobias Harris. Mo Bamba, he's sick, still questionable, and then Robert Covington, he is out with the knee injury. Let's talk about Joel Embiid first. How does the knee respond after playing his first game in over 60 days? That's really the big question here. You know he wants to play. The Sixers roster wants him to play. He makes this team so much better, but it's all about knee maintenance at this point. And he played 30 minutes in that game against OKC two nights ago. And how has he recovered? Does it still hurt? Is there lingering soreness on the knee, but for his entire body? Because it's one thing to practice. It's one thing to rehabilitate. But if you ever try to play pickup basketball for the first time in a couple of months, first time in a couple of weeks even, the twitch muscles and the fast twitch muscles that you utilize, that you don't often utilize, you get really sore really, really quickly. And obviously with that knee, you just want to see after one night of rest how he looks, how he feels. I'm hoping that he can continue to play here and ramp up that activity level going up against a player like Bam Adebayo, very active defense. In the Miami Heat, you also want to see how you stack up against a team that you might play in the play-in tournament. All of those things important. Tyrese Maxey, he is going to go through pregame workouts with the hip injury. A little bit of an ailment that's lingered a little bit longer than we anticipated. And that's going to determine whether or not he can give it a go. You need to win games here for sure because you are fighting for your playoff lives here both with the top six seeds and then in the NBA play-in tournament as well. But you also want your top players healthy for the playoffs and for a play-in tournament game, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey. If they're out in the playoffs, you are doomed. So you obviously have to err on the side of caution. A little bit of a calculated risk here. Tobias Harris has a left knee hyperextension. He was able to finish that game against OKC. I'd be somewhat surprised if he plays tonight, but... Then again, the other night, Joel Embiid listed as out, upgraded the questionable, and then he played. Of course, the NBA is going to investigate that matter because they hate Daryl Morey, Philadelphia, and 76ers fans. Also, producer Chip making a good point yesterday. Last couple of minutes of games, the Sixers have had the most calls go against them among all teams in the NBA. It's not a surprise, but no one likes us. We don't care. Embiid, Maxi, Toby did all participate in the team shoot around this morning. So those aren't long-term injuries that are going to derail the Sixers as of right now. But again, you're looking ahead to the play-in tournament. You're looking ahead to the playoffs while also knowing this game's pretty vital. De'Anthony Melton remains out with the back. I'm just not sure how he's going to be able to return this year. We're talking about him trying to ramp up and get ready for the playoffs, ready for the season. Some people are optimistic. 
this injury with the back might be more severe than the Joel Embiid injury because the complexities of a back injury, his return moving forward is certainly unclear. Tyler Hero, who's been injured a lot, and not a lot of people talk about that, but he's been injured a lot throughout his career. He has a foot ailment. He's going to miss this game against Philadelphia. With that, let's ask you this, your confidence level in the 76ers to pull out a dub here tonight. Scale it for me from 1 to 100. 1, not confident at all. 100, you're just guaranteeing a win, and you're bold enough to put some cheddar on this matchup. Coming up next, there has been a shift in the Eastern Conference standings. Also, we're going to discuss the massive implications against the Miami Heat. First, we have a great deal that we want to tell you about. Once again, thanks to our friends at Fanatics. We were telling you about that quarter zip on yesterday's show. But how about this Sixers hoodie right here? Looks good, and when you look good, you feel good. Was $90, now on sale, $54. Chatsports.com slash Sixers hoodie. You only get that deal applied if you use that link down below. And then Fanatics knows that 76ers now sent you. Eastern Conference standings have certainly shifted here. And I alluded to that a little bit earlier, that now the Miami Heat in that sixth spot and the Indiana Pacers dropping into the play-in tournament. I'd actually, even though that Eric Spolstra is a coaching maven, a coaching wizard, I'd rather play Miami than Indiana in the play-in tournament. I think Indiana's playing style and that fast-paced, it's a little bit problematic for Philadelphia here. Also of note here in the East, Julius Randle now out for the year with the shoulder injury. I've never been a big Julius Randle guy, good regular season player, bad in the playoffs, but that certainly impacts New York moving forward. With the Pacers losing last night to Brooklyn, though, this game becomes even more important. You get that sixth seed if you're the Sixers, and things dramatically change. You get that seventh seed, you play Milwaukee instead of Boston, you win that first round series, Anything can happen in that second round. And the Sixers can move within a game of Miami and Indiana with the victory. I do believe Indiana owns the tiebreaker over Philadelphia because they own the season series 2-1. to one. But a bonus aspect of this, Miami and Indiana play each other. So that's an automatic loss for one of those two teams, which only in turn helps the 76ers. So the implications of this game and how a win and a loss could affect the 76ers moving forward, both in the regular season and in this playoff race, going to be huge. I'll be tapped in. Producer Chip will be tapped in, as we always are, because we love this squad, win or lose. But Chip, your thoughts on this game, my dog? It is massive. And whether they win or lose this game, I feel like kind of depends how you think of the rest of the year, right? If They have to win this game to get a chance at the sixth seed, I think. If you lose this game to Miami, you know, you already lost a tiebreaker to, to Indy. Then you're falling even farther behind. I think you have no shot at the sixth seed if you, if you lose this game. So, obviously, if you win, then you hope that these other two teams can lose a couple more games, even though Miami's schedule pretty easy. Obviously, they play each other, as we said. But if you lose, which... Let's hope they don't. But if you lose this game, then you almost start rooting for the Heat, particularly when they play Indiana. Right. Because then you want Indiana to lose as many games as possible to try to get that seven. So if you do have to play Indiana, then at least you have that game at home as opposed to being on the road and just give yourself a better chance of avoiding Boston. By the way, Milwaukee, it's, it's so funny. They, they continue to lose games here, right? And... A first-round matchup against them, I wouldn't. I, I would welcome a first-round matchup against them. They just lost another game on the road to the 17 Grizzlies. Seventeen to nineteen this year on the road. They, yeah, they just lost another game on the road to the Grizzlies and Doc Rivers, Glenn Rivers, excuse me. Yeah, he's not a doc. The excuses he came up with. He said something along, along the lines of, "We're not professional enough yeah. on the road." He's he's blaming like his other coaches and the people that n travel with them on the road. Like it's just unbelievable. The stuff he says sometimes when they lose games, dude. Nick Nurse against Doc Rivers in a first-round series. I get it. You're going up against Giannis, Damian Lillard. But that, sees, that, that, that team has really struggled all throughout this year. 17-19 and 19 on the road is no joke. And Doc Rivers comes up, Glenn Rivers, 
comes up with excuses all the time, more than anybody I know in professional basketball. And one of my high school baseball coaches, Eric Lindros, or Brian Lindros, excuse me, Eric Lindros, former Flyers great, uh, Brian Lindros, Westchester University great on the diamond, would always say to us, excuses are like assholes. Everybody's got them and they all stink. But Doc Rivers has never heard that quote. Glenn Rivers has never heard that quote. Give us a follow before we get on out of here and we jet. I'm on X at Chase underscore Senior Chip at Jake Chipper. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe. F Miami, huge game tonight. Sixers, got to pull out the dub.